Good morning and welcome to the Moorcroft School video of the day. Now this is going to be a really exciting video because after you've seen this we are going to be launching our first competition uh, and it's going to be all about making Easter decorations and we know somebody who really knows how to make Easter decorations which is really good because I'm absolutely rubbish at making anything but Maria uh, who's one of our teachers at Moorcroft School she is absolutely fabulous about making things so she's going to show us how to make some Easter decorations so we sent our camera down to her house and I think she's ready to show us now and definitely you do need to try this one at home. Hello everyone I'm Maria and what we're going to do today, we're going to make some um, Easter egg cones. And um, they are a great activity to make a numeracy fun because um, you can have your child to practice counting or even weighing. And also they can use their creativity to decorate the Easter egg cone however they like. Um, so what we're going to need to make those is... We're gonna make, we're gonna need some of these um, clear sweet cones. And we're gonna need some of these like um, chocolate Easter eggs. We're gonna need various um, sort of decoration to decorate the Easter egg. And you can use anything you have in your house. You can even use a scrap of paper and have your, your child to kind of whip the paper, which is a good also OT exercise. And and then you're gonna need some of these um, ties. So, as I said, according to what your child is working on, then you can ask to add um, five Easter egg. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you can ask to add five um, of these like tiny decorations. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you can ask to add five confetti. We have one, two, three, four and five and then what they're gonna need to do is tie the easter egg cone and then you can also just make it um a little bit more complicated by adding a gift tag um so you can get like stamps anywhere or you can even make your own stamp by cutting a shape and like dipping it into like paint. Um, I've got a shape that says handmade with love and I've got an ink pad. And this is also a really good OT exercise because it's like pressure and, um, and then pushing it against the paper. Um, and it says I'm made with love. I didn't do a good job, but um, it kind of gives an idea of what to do. Um, and then you can wrap it again uh, on the Easter egg cone. Or you can even have your child to write it. So, I mean, it's according to um, what you're working on with your, with your child, with your student. Um, uh, on the Minecraft website, you're going to find um, symbol-based instructions. So you can support the video with some symbol-based instruction and it will be easier for um, your child. Um, so you have that and then you can hide it in your house and have like do like a really nice uh, sort of treasure hunt um, really close to Easter. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will see you really soon.
Bye. Now, thank you so much, Maria, for such a fantastic uh, video. Now, now it's the time for me to tell you about our competition. We have created a new Facebook page for Moorcroft School. I'm just going to show it on the screen. It's it's www.facebook.com forward slash Skirt. Now, if you go there, you're going to see this video again. But what we'd like you to do is to make your own Easter decorations and post them on our page under our video uh, thread. And we'll see if we can reward our students for whoever does the best design. So we're going to run for that for a week. And be not afraid, because although it is the holidays on Monday, we're going to be back for another video. But please go to our page and join in our competition. We can't wait to see your Easter designs. And don't forget, if you do need to get in touch with us, we'll be answering the phone during the holidays. It's 01895437799 or email us on info at moorcroftschool.com. Dot co dot uk we'll see you next week bye